Fit for Life Radio, episode number 125. Your hosts, Gary and Will. Hello. Garyulum and William. Garyulum. Or Garyulum and Willie. (laughs) That's the inverse. There's only one person that's ever been able to call me Willie. Your name works for a lot of stuff. It does. Can't do nothing with Gary. Gil. That's you, man. Mm. Gil. Gary and Will. And today, we are giving the people what they want. We had a, a lot of good feedback. Popular episode was our lean, convenient lean protein options. So today, we want to hit you with another struggle a lot of people struggle with, which is produce, fruits and veggies, convenient fruits and veggie options. I think <laughs> most of us know the, the, <laughs> the feeling of buying like fresh produce and then you just wash it, die in your fridge. Mm-hmm. The most common, I think everyone's done this, but this is why I stopped buying it. I would buy bags of spinach or like greens mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. And it just they're all like it just dies moist when they get moist. Yeah, it, it just gets all like slimy and gross and I never eat it because I just don't <laughs> really care for it. Yeah. Um and that happens with a lot of vegetables and fruits. Like we'll buy fresh stuff and just and not get to it and then it just gets kind of blah. Yeah. And I think we can break this down into two things. Like convenient on the go quick yes. options and then yeah you're kind of gro- grocery store staples and Absolutely. a lot of th- things that people probably didn't realize uh but i know say yeah you're on the go you want to grab something some produce some fruits and veggies a good option i think is wawa yes you know or bec- you know i know it's a gas station but they always have really good fresh like apples and oranges and grapes r- grapes and, and Pre, pre-cut f- fruit bowls where, yeah, you can go in and grab protein bar and some fruit and feel, feel And that's like a decent choice. And they always have bananas out too. Mm-hmm. Like they got a pretty good selection of fresh stuff like that. Yeah. And then Chick-fil-A. Mm-hmm. They have a fruit, like fruit bowl, fruit, fruit thing option yep. as well. You know, so you can get like grilled nuggets, pair it with fresh fruit. And even like Chick-fil-A... Wendy's. I mean, all their salads are, as far as now, you can go back to our Chick-fil-A episode. Now, talking calories, you got to be careful with the dressings. But as far as like, hey, you want a side salad, some greens, they're, they're not horrible choices, no. right? So they're, they're, they are pretty fresh and stuff. And actually, probably more fresh than, which we'll be getting into, what you're going to get at a grocery store. Yeah, because they get deliveries. Turnovers. Yeah, every day, basically. Mm -hmm. So you got to realize, yeah, these fast food places are selling every day. They're they're having a high turnover. That kind of stuff's going to be more fresh. All right, so, yeah, there you go. You're out on the go. Grab quick, fresh produce. Wawa, Chick-fil-A, great options. Now... I think the bigger issue is, yeah, we're grocery shopping. We're shopping for home. We want to have these options uh, because we're trying to keep, you know, the chips and stuff out. But we all, like Will said, we all experience, well, we buy these things. And, yeah, we're maybe buying for the week, right? You're not going to eat it all in that first day. And they go bad quick, right? Well, one reason they go bad quick is also, you know, the grocery store is not a farm. Nah. (laughs) They've been picked for a little while. And normally, especially – Depending on where you live, you know, a lot of this stuff is grown in California. Or in another country. And in Mexico and places like that, which means they have to, believe it or not, it doesn't just appear in your grocery store. It travels, right? And not everything is f- is flown in, especially fresh produce, right? So by the time it's then picked, picked at the peak of freshness. Peak. But then weighed it to on board to then travel. To then traveling. Yes, and then throw it on a truck and drive it to wherever it's going. To then having to eventually get to the grocery store. Then eventually get onto the floor of the grocery store. To then sitting in the grocery store. Right? You're talking weeks. Right? So that's why you experience with these, like, bags of greens and fruits and veggies. They, believe it or not, the quote-unquote, air quote, fresh 
ones are not so fresh. Yeah. Right. And then you are and actually every day, every hour is losing nutrition, losing nutrients, going bad to where you don't even want to eat it. Right. And then, yeah, you so then you're like, screw this. I'm not going to buy it. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, not not so convenient. Now we're here. This sounds like doomsday, but two options that we think are great, convenient produce options that are often overlooked are frozen and even canned. Mm-hmm. You know, the can gets a bad rap because of, which there's not as much now and there's way more options, but it used to be everything canned was like in juices with sugar, added sugars mm-hmm. and stuff like that to make them taste better, different. Now yeah. you can get just plain canned stuff and it's preserved. It's in a can. Yeah. And you are, rem- remember the beauty with canned is it's typically canned at when it's pe- like picked. So it is, and then it preserves the freshness and the nutrition more so than the stuff that's been sitting on a truck and in the grocery store for two or three weeks. So don't, you know, be super afraid of these canned options. Another, you know, element is the sodium. Yeah. Right. But the reality is unless you're like chugging the liquid and super inactive and eating a highly processed diet, you're going to be fine. The sodium's not going to be that, that big of a, of an impact. Right. Boom. So, and now do you, let's run through, I'll run through the canned things we get. Well, so we get canned green beans. Um, they actually, we enjoy like the texture of them, the taste. All right. Do you go French style green beans? No. Damn. The, okay. The cut, the cut green beans. Sometimes like if they were out, yeah, we, I'd grab those, but God, I love the French pre- style. Preferring the, uh, the cut. And then that's, that's one of the consistent ones. Um, I'll keep, you're going to, I keep a, some backup, <laughs> backup cans of, uh, the po- little oh, potatoes. Oh man. But now <laughs> more just a fall, a fallback, you know, if nothing's cooked, you got uh, these, got them already, already prepared. Oh man. Um, these potatoes, we're never going to let it yeah, go. Yeah. Things like tomato paste. Yep. That's when we use, like when, you know, we cook yeah. some other stuff. I've gotten where I like to take the tomato paste, pour, then I, I know, because ketchup, do ketchup's just too sweet for me sometimes. Have you tried the no sugar added ketchup? So, uh, so I almost like that worse because it's like, because they use sucralose in it, mm-hmm. which I have no problem with sucralose, except, you know, it's an artificial sweetener. Makes things really sweet, right? So, and in, the, in my brain, you know, that's like the sweetness that goes with like soda and stuff like that. Yeah. So then when I have that ketchup, it was just... It way too sweet. Too much? Not that I don't like artificial sweetness just for, you know, I'm typically eating savory food with my ketchup. It's like too much, right? So I take tomato paste, pu- put in a little vinegar mm-hmm. and then some like garlic powder and stuff and then just mix it up. I mean, and then I'll, is, I'll so. dunk, dunk like my chicken and stuff into that. That's a good idea. Um, I don't know. I mean, that works. <laughs> I mean, you basically just make ketchup your own <laughs> way. So much. whatever. Um, s- then... Did yeah. it? Who who was on the beats? Is Alexis like beats? Oh, she did beats for a while. Yeah, yeah but she she doesn't lately. But that used that can was one can beats. Um, what about you? We don't do a lot of canned food. Tomato paste is one that we use. Yeah. Um, in quite a few recipes, if we get anything, like we don't do a ton of veg. Like we'll get some beans every once in a while. We'll do like black beans with something. Um, sometimes corn. That's a either frozen or canned mm-hmm. one. If we're like doing something Southwest style. But I think that's about it, man. We don't do a lot of canned stuff. We're like frozen people Mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. And then pumpkin, that's the only can. Yeah. So those, those are some canned options. Now I think the real magic, the real convenient produce options lie with the frozen in the freezer. And I don't even know why frozen got a bad rap. I think, I don't know either. I think because it's like in a bag, I guess. I I guess, but it's literally the best way I, to I, consume stuff. Yeah, in frozen fruit and veggies, they just taste better. If you have a, like a competition, they almost win every box. No, they do. Compared to quote unquote fresh mm-hmm. produce, right? They're more fresh because they're, again they're flash frozen when they're picked. Right when they're picked, and then the f- the fact that frozen preserves the nutrition, so they're more nutritious. They're cheaper, like berries. It's not even. I can't tell you the last time. You bought fresh berries? I bought fresh no, berries. No, there's no reason to. It's a ripoff. 
and, and then almost like the texture and flavor i just enjoy even if then if say i got some berries that were comparable 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 i still would probably prefer the frozen, frozen right now for experience purposes, yes, it's nice to go and pick fresh berries. It and is. Stuff. And then, yeah, you're literally picking them and eating them. Uh, outside of that, frozen all the way, man. Frozen wins. And so price, taste, nutrition, convenience. Convenience, I mean, being number one, you just either eat them frozen or pull them out. Like for my yogurt, I'll do frozen strawberries. Mm -hmm. I'll just put them in a bowl, hit them in the microwave for a few just yeah. so they're not completely like bricks. And then I'm good. Yep. And they last forever. Yep. And it's my favorite thing ever. Yeah. And you have, so frozen berries are like a slam dunk. Those are the king. Frozen. You can do anything, really. Um, from fruit cherries. Um, obviously, you have like apples and oranges, which fresh. Um, those are great, too. Th so, thank you'll notice the stuff that's best fresh is stuff kind of with like an outside, its own package yeah bananas too yep. like i bananas don't really know if there's oranges. frozen bananas well at least they, i'm sure they have them yeah but. but with frozen like berries it's almost mm -hmm. mangoes another one they given, freeze yep, a lot frozen mangoes. people like those in smoothies i think yeah i've even now seen frozen bananas so they're already ripe and kind of chopped up so they're good for smoothies and you have veggies same deal so like frozen and veggies are even better because they're if you know me you know i'm always on the run up early and home late so having a three-hour morning routine isn't really in the cards for me what is in the cards is ag1 it's a fast way to get vitamins and minerals i need to perform i first gave ag1 a try because it was, i wanted a single solution that helps support my entire body by filling in nutrient gaps and simplifying my morning routine since drinking ag1 daily i've always felt strong and energized and ready to attack the day not only does AG1 deliver my daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre- and probiotics, and more, it's a powerful, healthy habit that's also powerfully simple. It's one scoop, mixed in water, once a day, and every day. I know that AG1 is giving my body high-quality nutrition. Every batch of AG1 goes through a rigorous testing process, so you know that it's safe. And AG1 ingredients are sourced for absorption, potency, and nutrition density. AG1 is a supplement that I trust to provide the support my body needs daily, and that's why I'm excited to welcome them as a new partner. Here is your chance to start every day this season with a gift to yourself. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash provengrit. That's drinkag1.com slash proven grit. Check it out. If you know me, you know I'm always on the run, up early and home late. So having a three-hour morning routine isn't really in the cards for me. What is in the cards is AG1. It's a fast way to get vitamins and minerals I need to perform. I first gave AG1 a try because it was, I wanted a single solution that helps support my entire body by filling in nutrient gaps and simplifying my morning routine. Since drinking AG1 daily, I've always felt strong and energized and ready to attack the day. Not only does AG1 deliver my daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre- and probiotics, and more, it's a powerful, healthy habit that's also powerfully simple. It's one scoop, mixed in water, once a day, and every day. I know that AG1 is giving my body high-quality nutrition. Every batch of AG1 goes through a rigorous testing process, so you know that it's safe. And AG1 ingredients are sourced for absorption, potency, and nutrition density. AG1 is a supplement that I trust to provide the support my body needs daily, and that's why I'm excited to welcome them as a new partner. Here is your chance to start every day this season with a gift to yourself. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash proven grit. That's drinkag1.com slash proven grit. Check it out. And this is where the veggies may cost a little more, mm -hmm. but then you save on, you don't have to prepare and clean. Yeah, them. You don't, and you don't have to waste anything, right? You don't exactly. have to buy broccoli and cut off half the stalk. Like, yep. dude, it's ready to go. And you it's can only usable pieces. It, that's the big thing, right? Like, 
if I wanted broccoli or cauliflower, you got to buy this whole big thing. You're typically not going to eat it all in one no. meal. Whereas the frozen veggies, you get a portion as needed, right? Mm -hmm. And then things like frozen broccoli, frozen cauliflower, they have frozen green beans. They're all tasty and delicious and easy to portion and easy to cook. Yeah. Uh, most of them you can cook from frozen, like throw them in and boil them or steam them or in the microwave. And they have, like, every option imaginable. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, you can buy cauliflower rice. I mean, you can buy anything um, frozen. Yeah. So we do yeah, the already, like, rice cauliflower, mm -hmm. um, frozen broccoli, frozen, uh, sometimes the green beans as mm -hmm. well, and frozen berries, blueberries, strawberries, mixed berries, frozen cherries, frozen pineapple. Pineapple, Ooh, dude, those are especially one. summertime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Frozen pineapple. I love, like, frozen pineapple I pick. That's a good one. Every time over having to prepare and all that with a regular pineapple. Dude, a pineapple is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, crazy messy. Yeah. Um, and mm. We usually do, like, we do a lot of berries. Like, mm -hmm. I usually do strawberries or blueberries. Whitney does mixed berries every day. And she just, I had to buy a mix that had black cherries in it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know the last time she had a cherry. And I was like, either she's going to love it or she's going to hate it. And she's going to be like, that was the worst lunch I ever had. But she loved it, so now we buy the mix with the cherries in there. Um, and we usually keep those three on hand, like, all year. Like, yeah. we always have those. Um, sometimes we'll get, you know, some pineapple. Um, veggies, they can they kind of come and go. But I like to do, like, asparagus with my lunches. Mm -hmm. um, broccoli is just such an easy one. Like, a lot of times um, we'll have... I mean, we'll have that with whatever. Yeah. Um, we've even done that. Like, it's not as convenient, but it keeps. Like, we'll roast broccoli that's frozen. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll just take it out of the, the bag and throw it in the oven, which, of course, takes longer, and we could have steamed it. But um, then I know I'm not yeah. going to get broccoli, and it's going to go bad. So those are our main frozen ones. And, again, the big a big convenient fac factor with the frozen is – the elimination of prep, mm -hmm. you know, that, so if you're at home and, and you want to have, you know, something after dinner, you can just go grab some, fro a bowl of frozen berries, you know, pop them in the microwave for 15, 20 seconds, or just eat them like or that. Or eat them frozen. So fall as you go. And boom, quick, convenient option that took no cooking, no prep. And it's just readily available. Yeah. Same thing. I'll take frozen broccoli and throw it in a glass dish and microwave it. Mm-hmm. And then it's ready, just yeah, just as good as like if as if it was steamed or honestly, I I got it down now where I just prefer you know you kind of like through trial and error mm -hmm. get like your preferred your method end result for foods to where eating out is always a lot of times a letdown because it's like I would rather this have, isn't how I like yeah it. like you get the side of steamed veggies and. They're not to like, I like mine more mushy and, and, and done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, you end up liking your meals better because you get a fine tune. Well, you figure out how you want to cook them and you're mm -hmm. in control over that. Yeah. That that's, so it's just overcoming. A yeah. A, a, again, a big thing. A lot of clients say with produce, it's like, it's expensive and it goes bad. They don't use it up in time or they, then you feel rushed. I've talked about this before that that's my, my. <laughs> gripe with avocados you yeah know? yeah that's can't you freeze avocados you can someone posted about it yeah um i saw and i've seen frozen avocado but they were kind of i guess they'd be all right for like a smoothie they yeah that would be the only reason the texture would be weird on yeah defrosted avocado um but yeah that's mm -hmm. they just go bad man i have avocado sitting right now yeah it better not be done by today though not this you ha you needed it two hours ago. You're gonna get home and it's pat it's past its due date. I'm not ready. It's ruined, ruined, you ruined. And you, then you ruined it. Yeah. So that's a perfect example. I'll just look when I go. I'll get avocado when I go out to places. I'll let them mm -hmm. deal with the inconvenience of avocado. Let them waste the avocados. Yeah. <laughs> but that's you know hopefully what comes across as helpful is actually yes the you know Wawa's and Chick Fil A's and restaurants like they churn through this stuff so much it's going to be fresher let them mm -hmm. deal with some of the inconvenient uh factors but to where yeah it's convenient for you because you just got to pop through a, a drive through or pop in a wawa and grab the fruit and it's already ripe it's already ready mm -hmm. then outside of that you know for your home yeah really look into frozen or can man fruits and veggies canned veggies canned 
There's some. I like I like canned veggies, but canned yeah. fruit is usually in syrup, so it's yeah. not going to be your your best option. Yep. And then as far as after we, you know, laid the smack down on the fresh. Air, air quote fresh produce you know there still are some great things that last longer have potatoes which, last a while yeah, potatoes so uh, see potatoes though <laughs> this is my <laughs> with potatoes so i i've learned like I, I love all potatoes yeah but for the most part i do sweet potatoes because they don't go bad as sweet potatoes stay forever so here's the thing it depends on the time of year because regular potatoes white potatoes uh-huh they get those sprouty things. Yeah, you just take the sprouts off. Nah, man, I don't. They start to turn green, and when it's warmer, I noticed. I'm not worried about it. In the summer, it. it happens way faster. Yeah, it makes sense. In the winter, man, I can't. I can't do. No, I'll do more white potatoes because they oh, last longer yeah. in stores before they start to turn. Um, and yeah, so they do go bad. Stuff. You have to store. Be more careful with your storing. Um, but things like apples, melons, mm-hmm. uh, oranges, you know, other citrus Oranges fruit. keep for a while. We keep those on hand, too. Like, we'll get the little cuties. Yeah. And those usually last, and we don't ever have many go bad. Yep. So those are good, convenient options to grab, you know, fresh from the And you could grab section. a couple of those. You could yeah. grab, like, two on the on the run or have them with your breakfast. And, you know, like, they're mm-hmm. enough, but, you know, they're, all, what, 20, 30 calories a piece. They're not a lot Yeah. for those really little ones. And then veggies, man. I can't. I, we barely, rarely buy fre- fresh veggies because then typically they all need like tons of preparation. Yeah. So like when you start comparing, well, yeah, I love fresh green beans, but then I gotta like snap them and do all. Dude, that. fresh green beans are a pain. Um, fresh. Same thing with broccoli, cauliflower. You gotta like cut, get the stem off, and you know what we do buy fresh because we, you know, maybe have them once a week, like uh, red peppers. Yeah, bell peppers. Like I'll cut bell peppers. I, I really they're almost more like apples. I mean, they don't. Mm-hmm. They do go bad. Yeah, they keep pretty well though. But you kind of throw them in your fridge. And we'll do a we we do a dish which is like just crock pot chicken. We'll roast sweet potatoes and then we'll cut up a poblano pepper and mm-hmm. put it with the sweet potatoes. And that's easy. I mean, you can cut that up in yeah. no time. Um, but that's that's about it for fresh stuff. I think. Yeah. We'll we'll buy bags of um already prepared like shredded cabbage. Yeah. And we'll do like um like chicken egg roll mm-hmm. type things. Now, the lettuce mixes, dude, those, man, I never have had good luck with those. No. Now, you know what I, this is one, okay, perfect example. If I do, and it sounds bad, most people be like, what? It's not as nutritious, but if I w- do get lettuce, like we had hamburgers the other week, just do a iceberg lettuce, man. Yeah. Uh, because you get it, it's crisp, it's mostly water, <laughs> but it's easy to clean, pull it apart, it's cheap. You know, if you don't use it all, you're you're not like yeah. You know, having to take out another and mortgage. It's like, I would say a little better on a burger, anyways. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Or even Alexis, she likes to kind of make like she makes these like wraps, and she'll just kind of shred it a little and mm-hmm. just use it for some crunch. Yeah. Whereas, man, those for one, they're super expensive. You know, those green like greens bags of lettuce and kale and arugula, yeah. and then they get where, dude. If you don't eat them within they a day get or two, wet. that wet. Oh, and that's it, what I'm talking about. Dude. And then have you ever had where you're like, no, nah, I spent seven bucks on this. I'm eating it, and it's just it's a it's a, such a letdown. It's a yeah. bad experience. That's why I'll never buy those. So I think those are the worst thing to go for in the grocery store. Personally, mm-hmm. now look, if you eat salad every day and you know you can handle that, like yep. knock yourself out. However, but then most of like us are not doing that. I went through a phase where I try try to do that, but then you also need to like know the grocery stores mm-hmm. deal, like when they get them in, yeah, and kind of go on that day to to get it. Otherwise, you're getting one that's been sitting there for six days. When, and yeah, and realize it where it's also been sitting again in the travel and commute. So you do want to try to get it. Your best bet is getting it as soon as it's put on the floor to minimize. It's just a dance you don't need to do. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of work for something that's mm-hmm. just not that good. So, yeah, and really, salad mixes, like we said, go out to eat for those. Yeah. I mean, the conven- there's there's not – it's hard to have a convenient form of those for your for home that's going to, you know, kind of maximize the nutrition and freshness mm-hmm. and price, whereas um, – and that's what I do. If again, we, uh, like I like a good Caesar salad, but I'm not gonna make. I'm it. not making a Caesar salad. <laughs> so I've done it. And so that's what I'll get when I go out to eat. Um, that's when I'll get a salad. Yeah, let somebody else I'll do let it. Them, yeah, deal yeah. With theirs it. is probably gonna be better than yours, anyways. The Whatever. Waste. That's fine. Hopefully, 
What do you get? What do you, I think that covers it, man. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Grab your little packs on the go. Like most gas stations around here, Wawa's are great for it. I'm sure Sheets is pretty solid mm-hmm. um, elsewhere. Yeah. And this, you know, of course, you got to pay the convenience Ooh. fee. You know who has a good Caesar salad? Who's that? Costco. Do they really? They got like this pre-made kit. Ooh. Dude, it's it's good. This comes with chicken and everything. Yeah. Which Costco was the shining star in our our main, protein, yeah. protein episode. Um, and again, and yeah, we'll shout out Costco then for frozen fruit. They got, man, they're like Everything you they're could frozen want. cherries. They got frozen pineapple, frozen mixed berries, mm-hmm. frozen st- blueberries, strawberries. Um, mixed fruits for can, smoothies. And stuff, you know, that is great. And um, then, uh, oh, one thing I do want to touch on, like frozen stuff can be relatively cheap. Like there's a lot of stuff that you can buy, like, I don't know, it might be store brand or whatever, but you can get a lot of stuff for like a dollar a bag or maybe mm-hmm. even cheaper than that. There's a lot that are like yeah. 10 for $10 um, and stocking up on stuff like that is a good bet. Like you don't have to go for the most expensive. Yeah. Like if you get asparagus, it's like $4 a bag, mm-hmm. which I do like it, but I don't eat it all the time. Yeah. But then you might be able to get, you know, just regular old broccoli that's a so I, Kroger I, brand for 99 cents. Yeah. I found in general, you're, you're able to get servings of fruits and veggies for about a dollar a serving mm-hmm. frozen. So, yep. which is really, really good. I say you know, great. So like a cup of berry or a serving of berries, a cup of berries for a dollar. Whereas fresh air quote blueberries are going to be dude, sometimes $4 I mean, for a cup. Yeah. How much? I don't know how much. I, mean, I don't even look anymore yeah. to see how much they are, but I'm sure they're more expensive now than they were like three or four years ago. Yep. So, so yeah, like it, it's not, it's cheaper. I mean, yeah. It's, it's gotta be even, cheaper. Yeah. And then canned food, is relatively inexpensive too mm-hmm. overall um so like don't feel like you have to buy like fresh organic all like the because mm-hmm. that stuff can get kind of pricey especially when you're wasting a lot of it yeah. so and i even read an article like that's the other catch with organic it's like yeah it's organic but then it drives all across the country on a truck with an open thing open bed yeah <laughs> now dirt air all that this you know is, is falling on it so it's kind of like okay um, it was organic. <laughs> <laughs> Again, don't like the fear monger. No, the, no, you'd be fine. Wash, your, wash your produce. The, what we're really, which I honestly would have no problem eating no, whatever, whatever food that was in an open truck. But what I'm saying is, you're paying for organic. You're not like don't feel bad about buying conventional. It's yeah, because <laughs> nowadays organic is almost just like a marketing thing, and. Um, yeah, it's it's not it's not something to like really draw a line in the sand on. You know, I hate washing produce too. Yeah, honestly, I, I just eat it. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I just make like potatoes. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure there's no like dirt clumps on it. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. I'd rationalize that as I normally don't eat the skins, so I'm like, well, yeah. In that case, if I'm skinning the potato, I don't even care. Yeah. I'm just skinning it, and I'll rinse the potato off to make sure there's no little weird. Yeah, Dirt. I'll rinse off like an apple, but honestly, I just run it underwater for like three seconds. I don't think it really does anything. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes you feel better about yeah. yourself. It's like, oh, well, you this, washed this your how, You know, this is just the process. But yeah, so there you are. Convenient, frozen, canned, or grabbing something on the go. Yeah. You know, places like Wawa, Chick-fil-A. Most fast food places have a decent salad. Watch the dressing. That's it. Yep. All right. Hopefully you find that helpful. Let us know if we missed anything. Yeah. Some convenient options. Or whatever convenient options you, you all like. Yeah. And then maybe maybe next time in the future we'll do we'll see that's that's produce, that's protein. Those are the two things that are hard that Those most, are the big ones. That hey, what should most people be eating? Hey, eat lean, lean protein and and fruits and veg. And fruits and veg, right? But then the problem is you go out into the world and those are not convenient options, right? So kind of laying those as a foundation hopefully gives you a better chance at eating more of those things. All right. right. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening. As always, thanks for listening, guys. If you want to learn more, check us out at coastalfitnessva.com or garydeagle.com. We'll see you next time.